Well, we know obviously customers buy from you again. They buy more. Sometimes they identify with you. You know, they wear that Bass Pro Shop hat or they buy <laughs> wear that Harley Davidson jacket. I, I got a friend of mine who wears a Harley Davidson jacket all the time. Uh, he even wears it to church. That ain't right. And sometimes we know they are loyal because they trust us. They give us a wider berth to make mistakes, which is really important because as you grow and improve, you're going to make mistakes sometimes. And isn't it great to have a loyal customer base that will give you that opportunity, that berth to, to, to make mistakes. But I think there's a pinnacle higher than that, and that is a customer who becomes your advocate. Whether it's ear to ear, face to face, or click to click, they can't wait to remark about you. Now, what I'm not talking about here is a recommendation. Yeah, I'd recommend Westfield Insurance. That's not what I'm talking about. There's a level even higher than that. And I think it comes with this. And I'm gonna ask you to recall a positive service experience that was so profound, so impactful, that you couldn't wait to story it. You couldn't wait to tell somebody about, you're not gonna believe what happened to me. So if you recall that, what were the features of that experience. Now we've been studying this to figure out what were the features that tend to make people want to tell stories about us. And we find they wind up in one of five areas. And those are the things we're going to talk about. The features that make experiences profoundly remarkable. They enchant, they enlist, they enlighten, they make it easy and they're engraved. And you'll learn a little bit about what that means. Now, Let's take a look at it about why this is important. Because we know today, customers, all customers, are highly stimulated and often entertained. And so that raises the, the expectations they have. Some research shows customer expectations go up about 30% a year. Because they don't just compare you to other insurance companies, obviously, they care you to, compare you to anybody creating great experiences that they enjoy. Let me give you a fun example. There was a large brokerage firm that decided to have fun with their phone system. You know, the one punch three if you want this, punch two if you want this. They decided to add punch eight if you want to hear a duck quack. Guess what? Over a million people called every week just to hear the dang duck. It was jamming their system, costing them a fortune. They finally had to take it out. Now, what's the punchline? The punchline is customers today are bored. Apparently for some of them, it doesn't take a whole lot to entertain them. But think about what is that have all about? What does that look like? What does that look like? Let me give you an example of what it looks like. My wife has a new car, loves this new car, traded in for uh, her old car for a new car. And you know what? A week after she had her new car, she turned on the radio for the first time and discovered they had programmed in her radio stations from her trade-in. Now, what do you think she talks about? The car or the radio? Yeah, the radio. And Lord, I think what she paid for that car. Now think about that. Think about that. Something that was totally unexpected, something was simple, and finally something that was appropriate. What can you do to the experience of those you serve to make it I can't wait to tell a story about it. 